going in and touching a few things up. Inside this Carytown studio, drawings. It's almost like a painting. Come to life. I love like black and gray photorealism, um, you know, anything like that, anything like dark horror type stuff, I'm, I'm very into. At Loose Screw Tattoo. That sounds super cool. Art is always at the core. Tattooing is just the medium. Anything that can make a mark, I try to figure out how to make it work. Owner Jesse Smith. So I've been tattooing for about 25 years. Started his career painting characters at Bush Gardens before realizing he could create those same animations on people. In the tattoo world, it's called new school. Uh, in the real world, I think it's just called like uh, cartoons that are real weird and crazy. So I do weird and crazy cartoons. When Smith opened Loose Screw in 2011, he was one of the only new school tattoo artists in the world, landing him a spot on season two of Paramount Network's Ink Master. I remember going to a a comedy show one time after I'd been on TV and I had these three grandmas and they were like, oh my God, we're such a big fan. We don't have any tattoos, but we love your work. And so I'm taking pictures with grandmas and you know, my face was in front of my artwork, which the, you know, the 14 years prior, my face was behind my artwork. Now the veteran tattooer takes pride in giving newer artists like Jen Bean a place to showcase their work and make a living. I always had like a interest in like doing something artistic for like uh, like a career path and you know sadly there aren't a lot of career paths in art that uh, don't you know have you like starved to death so Smith has also taken on the task of running one of the oldest tattoo conventions in the world so a lot of people a lot of the best tattoo artists in the entire world would come to Richmond to you know teach each other tips and tricks they drop off all these amazing tattoos to all the locals the locals would walk around to other tattoo shops and then those tattoo shops would see these great tattoos and then they'd try to make tattoos like that and I feel like it just kind of built uh, upon itself. The convention has helped establish Richmond's diverse tattoo scene with the city averaging 14 shops per 100,000 people. That's the third most in the country. And it's like, wow, everybody has tattoos. It's almost like funny when you find somebody that doesn't have a tattoo. With his two decades of experience, Smith says his goal is to push the art of tattooing to the next level. I feel like the, the quality of artists nowadays is just way better than it was 25 years ago. And help everyone feel welcome in the tattoo community. This year, he selected Black Ink's Melody Mitchell as the convention's first black female headliner. Every time I walk into the convention, you just see it's like, you know, predominantly white people. And, uh, you know, I just was like, man, Richmond's got such a thick, diverse scene. Why are we not getting more people like that in the convention? It's a great time to be a woman in the industry. You know, people are so supportive and it's, you know, like not quite like how it was, you know, like the pioneers like Shanghai Kate that kind of paved the way uh, for female tattooers. Um, you know, now we it's a lot more accepted. So whether or not you feel comfortable rolling up your sleeve, Smith hopes you can appreciate the work. My favorite tattoo right now is one that I haven't finished, and it's probably not appropriate for uh, TV, but it's uh, it's pretty fun. And the hours spent creating walking canvases and a legacy for tattooing in Richmond. Richmond's Tattoo Art and Music Festival runs Friday through Sunday at the Doubletree in Midlothian. Smith tells me there will be more than 150 tattoo artists from across the world, and they're expecting more than 4,000 people to attend.